We're going to move on now to a new interview with convicted Russian agent Maria Butina. She's back in Russia after serving a 15-month prison sentence for secretly helping the Kremlin influence U.S. policy. Our chief national affairs correspondent Tom Yam is here with her side of the story. Good morning, Tom. George, good morning to you. Maria Butina did this interview while she was still in custody, sitting down with 60 Minutes. And despite some damning evidence, she claims she's, quote, a victim of racism against Russians. The feds calling her answers in this interview a masterpiece of disinformation. For the first time, convicted Russian agent and provocative gun rights activist Maria Butina telling her side of the story. I never thought to influence your policies. I came here on my own because I wanted to learn from the United States and go back to Russia to make Russia better. The 30-year-old befriended powerful Republicans and forged a relationship with the NRA, the U.S. government believes, to promote pro-Russia policies. Butina claims the feds tried to paint her as a Kremlin seductress. You traveled across the United States attending NRA meetings. The U.S. government says that you were making connections with Republicans so that you could influence U.S. policy. And you were doing it slowly, I but did. deliberately. If I were not Russian, that would be called social networking. But 60 Minutes says they obtained thousands of her Twitter direct messages she exchanged with a Russian official, where they allegedly used phrases like, following our game, the battle for the future, and patience in cold blood. You know, in reading through your messages, it reads as if he's your intelligence case officer. Look, this is a, I think it's an American very old saying that suggests that wolves have teeth, but not all animals with teeth are wolves. You cannot judge a person based on appearance. Now, Butina did plead guilty to conspiracy to act as a foreign agent. She's back in Russia after serving more than a year in prison. Lately, she's been a fixture on Russian media complaining about the way she was treated in the U.S. prison system. And guys, I bet this is not the last we have heard of Maria Butina. You're probably right about that, Tom. Thanks very much. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.